And a happy Easter to you all so much. Let me look at comments. Oh, crap. Oh, good. Okay. For a second, I thought it was hooked up to my microphone from last night with Tommy and I was not being heard. You guys hear me fine? Of course you do. Um, yes, Kim Leanne, 67. Andra Wise, welcome. Rachel Harmon, thank you for being here, mods. Hey, Paula Puffer. Abigail, happy Easter to you. Carmen Martz. Hey, Matrix Rabbit. Brian Lucas, love you. Hey, Skyrider, happy Easter, babe. Anna Banana, I love you. I'm so glad we got to talk last night. That was amazing. Malvakai, Tony B, no talk Tony, happy Easter. Hey, I'm... Oh, hi. Oh, speaking of Easter. Speaking of Easter. Thank you, Teresa. Oh. If anybody knows Easter, it's the one that was born right next to little JC. Uh, John Shamwowski, I have not seen you in forever. I hope you're getting my private messages. Um, I loved my Easter chocolates. Thank you for sending them. You're so sweet, John. I love you. And I, I truly hope you're all right. Jam Jam, uh, Julie Markham, King's Kid, Kestrel. Last night was so much fun, Kestrel. Hey, Shauna B. Moonchild, Anita Card. Love you, girl. Sandra, Alex, Heather McLaughlin, uh, the original Alexa. Uh, you know, what is that noise? Is that the washing machine all the way down here? Can I hear that? Wow. Uh, Texas shenanigans. Well, welcome. You're usually on the replay crew. That's awesome. I'm glad you're here. Liz Tricks. It was, uh, we'll get into it. It was a fairly boring Easter. Mark Hardman. Love you, Mark Hardman. Una the Great. That's cute. Happy Easter from Kansas. Well, I used to live in Kansas, girl. Hey, Mary. And it's Mary's birthday today. Happy birthday to Mary Barons. Honey, everybody sees you. We all know you. Yes, we do. I know. Thank you, Kim Leaf. I washed my hair today, but then my mom called when I got out of the shower and, you know, the, that old chestnut. I was stuck on the phone with my mother for over an hour and I always blow dry my hair and it dried on its own because I didn't get a chance to do so. So this is my hair. What it, You know, it's usually stick straight, but I guess if I don't dry it, it kind of has a little bit of a wave. I don't know. I'm not really sure what to do with it. Hi, Michelle. Debbie with an I. Aaron Cooper. Um, don't worry, Matrix Rabbit, we will totally get to talk. Tommy and I are going to figure out a schedule and probably do that pretty regularly. He and I both really enjoy it. I love meeting you guys. Hey, Kimmy Steele, uh, Squirrel Girl, Carmen Martz. I know. Uh, yeah, I think uh, she is feeling sad with the symbolism of Good Friday, which I'm not really entirely sure what that is. Cooler by the Lake. Uh, creepy B5. Hey, Helen Davis. I love you, Fancy Nancy. Amy Joe, happy Easter. Um, Donnie Scattered. Uh, Rockstar Grand, that's so cute. Hey, babe. Patty, happy Easter to you. Hi, Marie Marion. Thank you, girl. Pam Fredette, happy Easter. Uh, thank you. Olivia, really? You guys like my hair like this? Maybe I should do this more often. I never let my hair air dry. Hey, Kelly Wallace. I love Kelly Wallace. Love her. Tina Serlin. You like the gentle waves in my hair, Kim Leaf? Thank you so much. Maybe I should try air drying. Honey, we know that you exist. Oh, you live um, by Olathe? Well, that's not that far. I was in um, Overland Park. I was right on the edge of Prairie Village. Um, hi, Baby Steps. Ashley. Uh, Jamie Palmer. Angie Mo. Zelda. Well, thanks, Zelda. Thank you, guys. Hey, Carol Barnhart. Ice Autumn. Happy Easter. Wow, guys. You're liking the uh, air-dried look. Okay. All right. We'll add it to the list. Aletha Rose. Good evening. Um, Helen Davis, thank you so much. Try scrunching in. I could try doing that, couldn't I? Scrunching in some waves. Thank you, Miss Sunrise Dawn. Uh, she told me she was going to do that. I recorded a podcast with Rena from Better Call Daddy. It's coming out in a few weeks. That's awesome. I love Rena. I texted her today. She's a very dear friend of mine now. Thank you, Deanna Downey. Yeah, I bet it's going to be a good podcast. I don't know. I feel like I need these glasses adjusted. I know Tommy doesn't like these, so I'm wearing them without a Tommy live. 
Uh, Kathy Bechtal, happy Easter, babe. Um, thank you, King's Kid. Christy Cress. Hey, Bead Maniac, I love you. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, guys, honey, I'm, I am really hot, and it's making it worse by holding you. I know you're upset about everything. I know that you're always upset and you're never happy about anything, but I know. The truth is I'd like to set you down. I'm a little bit too warm to be holding you. I'm like already shiny. I just mattified my face with my mattifier. Look at that. It's like already glistening. I am warm. Um, yeah, Carmen Martz. Uh, question, how are you feeling after processing your visit to the KC org yesterday? That's a great question, Carmen. Uh, they aren't your favorite glasses, but you look legit, but you legit look good in anything. Je Rachel, I know it's kind of, thank you, Rachel. It's half and half. Some people like these glasses and uh, like Tommy was like, absolutely not. Um, he hates them. They look like prison glasses to him. I like them. I like a men's inspired frame. I always have. And you guys know, I love aviators. So I realize a lot of people won't. Uh, I know Brian. So uh, Carmen, Punky, can I put you down? Oh, no. I know you're always upset about everything. Let's try it. Oh, my God, I'm too hot for that. Um, so thank you, people, places, and perspectives. Gertie is risen. Uh, no one take offense to that, please. I do not make fun of other religions or the Bible. I simply comment on it because I don't know anything about it. Ruthie Brown, thank you so much. Carrie Ann, I love you. I love you, girl. Brittany, I love you too. So you're right, Brittany. Thank you for saying that. Guys, um, yesterday, did, did a few of you see that live from yesterday where I went to the, uh, um, the church? Did you guys see it? That was interesting. And honestly, it ended up being, um, I was super nervous in the beginning. I was super nervous to do that. Like I was thinking, I don't know if I should do this. Uh, hey, Lisa Beam. And then I really kind of got into it. I got comfortable once I was, I would say the first 20 minutes, I was very uncomfortable, but then I got comfortable. Once I was there, I felt pretty good. Thank you, Matrix Rabbit. And I started to, uh, thanks, Gail Richards. I started to come out of my shell more and more. Thank you, Jeanette. And, um, well, Michelle, thank you. Thank you, thank you. My hair looks beachy, Moonchild. I need to live in a beach town. I feel like I would have better hair if I lived by the ocean, like the salt in the air. Because when I spray this with salt, um, sea salt spray, it kind of has that effect, right? Um, this shirt is a kimono. It's actually super long. Is that Gretchen? Oh my God, that sounds amazing. This thing is really long, but I love, look at the sleeve. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, this is one of my Jennifer Grace kimonos. It's just crazy, isn't it? It's amazing. I love it so much. Um, and I'm just wearing it over a tank and some shorts because I'm so hot. Um, but yeah, thank you for noticing. I like this print a lot. Thank you, Jam Jam. Uh, your membership went away and there's no way to join again. Zelda, I don't know, but thank you for being a member for that month. I appreciate it. I don't know how to do it. Thank you, Skyrider. Oh, thanks, Skyrider. I like to hear that, girl. Um, thank you, Jeannie Hansen. For Haven and Grimm. Particularly love the golf vibe. You guys ruined me from that damn vest. And you know what sucks about that vest? I bought three of them. They're from Lady Co. I bought it in an orange pattern. I bought it in black and white and I had the green and white and I feel ruined by that damn thing. I'm just kidding. I'll still wear it. I love a prep vibe. Vibe. I love a preppy look. Hey, Riley's human. Happy Easter to you. Uh, Sandy Wandy. Love you, girl. Happy Easter. Yeah, I, I liked what uh, our friend said last night that I looked like Cher from Clueless. I got that vibe too. I definitely got that vibe. Uh, baby steps. First super chat can help working with wavy hair. Oh, I love you. Baby steps. That's really kind. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for that. Jam jam. Dang girl. Throw that around like hot sauce packets. Thank you. That's amazing. Zelda, you figured it out. Wait, Zelda, did you just become a member? I don't remember now. What do I know? I don't know anything. 
I don't remember anything before this. Yeah, the vest was clueless vibes. Keela, I love you, girl. Happy Easter again. Elena, I need this more than anything. You have no idea. Thank you. The only way now is going up. Elena, I love you. I really love Elena Rainerman. She is a close friend of mine. Thank you, girl. That's very kind. I'm glad you're here. Thank you, Mama Smurf. Lumen, thank you. Shauna B, loved watching you and Jeff yesterday. Kansas City Audit. Yeah, guys, that was, a. Uh, I don't know how to say this. Like, I'm not going to start doing that. I'm not going to start doing the protest stuff. It's not for me. It's just not for me. However, I think it's fun when you do it like I did it yesterday, when you just show up and we're not like planning it out and, you know, getting groups together, which I don't mind going with people. But I thought it was more fun to just, I was just down in that area. I was having lunch and I was like, we should stop by. <laughs> and I think that's a little bit more fun to just sporadic, you know? Um, thank you, Tracy Murphy. And I'll continue to do that. I will continue to do that. Jeannie Hansen, happy first Easter out. Thank you. You know, um, I did not know that, Carrie Ann. Somebody else was doing a protest yesterday at the Kansas City Church. Okay. Jeannie, thank you for your super chat. Sheridan, thanks for being here. Thank you. Um, do you have to renew your uh, membership with you every month? It took forever to figure out how to do it the first time. I thought it automatically did it until you canceled, but honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I love you, Lisa. I'm sick and can't stop coughing. Oh my God, that sucks. Oh, Lisa, I'm sorry to hear that, girl. Uh, lots of fluids, but you know that. How much trouble do you think that woman will be in? Do you think, uh, I know bead maniac. Um, Hey, Island life. Happy Easter. Joy of cats. A lot of people thought that was more St. Patrick's day. I don't know. I thought pinks and greens were also Eastery. I guess I was wrong. Um, I think she's going to get in trouble. I think she's going to get in some kind of trouble. I think she's going to get in more trouble, obviously, because I was talking to her husband the whole time. And I think it's really bad that he admitted on my live that they watched the Leah Remini show. Unless the rules have changed, which I doubt because Elron hasn't come back yet to change them. I think they're going to get in some trouble. Does the friendship tax go up on the holidays? You know, um, let me check in the employee manual, but I think that actually it might. Brisby Tales. Oh my God, I haven't seen you in a while. Where have you been? I love you, Brisby. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, Franklin MC. Ooh, Zelda. I wore my faux leather jacket from Lady Call last night. It was awesome. All right, Zelda. I love it. I remember that jacket. I remember trying it on and then you bought it. That was a cool jacket. I bet you rocked it, girl. Uh, super loved your outfit yesterday. It was too freaking cute. Original Alexa, thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. Did you ask Aaron his thoughts on my live? I did not. I did talk to Aaron this morning for just via text briefly, but no, I didn't ask him about, uh, Catherine, you're not late. We just started. Um, I did ask him about um, what we talked about, about the um, doxing a minor. And he said that he thought it was fine. I don't think it was. I don't think it was. So I just removed that part of the live. Jamie needed some good vibes the past week was sick and had to take a step back from my friendship that I had been trying to work things out with been kind of down about it. Jamie, I'm so sorry. And actually I can tell you, I fully understand that. I had one friend for a really, really long time, Jamie years. And I took a step back from it. We took a step back and I never, never went forward again. And I know that she would like to, she reaches out to me like, I don't know, every other month. And I just am nice. I'm cordial. And I say, hello, but she knows where I stand. I just had to take a step back and it makes you very sad. It's hard to lose a relationship, Jamie. And I hope you guys can work on it, but we're here for you, girl. And you've got a ton of friends in here. Know that. Malarkey. Happy Easter. Thank you, Mary. Uh, happy Easter. Hey, Kim Greenleaf. Hi, Joyce Drager. SMSP, happy Easter to you. Uh, maybe Athena is under the radar, but not wanting to lose her family slash friends. I think that's very much could be the case um, um, because she has a huge, huge family. And I mean, Athena is one that was born into it, just like me. She's younger than me. Athena, 
she was my pure if I see on one of my pure ifs. I see stands for in charge. Uh, so I spent a lot of time with her once for weeks and weeks because we sat in the sauna together. I didn't have a, a partner, um, a twin is what they call it. Uh, Athena, how old is Athena? I'm 39. I think she's probably 10 years younger, probably. Uh, and she's got, uh, she's got a lot to lose. Kim Milan, thank you for spending first Easter out with us. Kim, thank you for being here with me. I actually worried about doing a live. Thank you, Gretchen. Um, I actually worried about doing a live today because I thought, what does the real world do on Easter? I don't really want to interrupt you guys. I didn't know if you were going to be with family or um, some people really, really uh, step it up. And I don't know what people do. I don't. Um, yeah, losing a friend is like a breakup, Brittany. Friendship tax paid, almost late. It's the last day of the month. Love you and happy Easter. Keela, you don't have to do that. I love you, babe. Thank you. Carolyn T, welcome. Sharon T, welcome. Um, how does it work when people marry outside Scientology? They don't get punished for marrying someone who's not. They don't get punished, people, places, and perspectives, but... Uh, hi, Gemini girl. They, uh, it's, it's very frowned upon and it is very much expected that you are going to flip that person to a Scientologist. You're going to recruit them in. Um, that was very much expected of me to do that with Jeff. And, uh, so the guy yesterday I was talking to is very much a Scientologist. Oh, that was the other thing. When we went to get in the car, remember, notice that guy was there when I got there. Remember that? He stayed out the whole time vaping. The second we got in the car, he went, he went into the building. So he was just out there watching me. I mean, I don't know if that was the intention when I got there, but once he knew who I was, he wasn't going in. So uh, I don't know if he was just gathering information. Uh, Marie, I will tell Huxley, how did he like his first Easter with mom and Jeff? Uh, Jeff went to his family's for Easter. Huxley spent most of today with his dad. I cooked a roast and I made two dozen deviled eggs and, uh, it's all just sitting up there for somebody to go eat it. Uh, but I will tell him Rachel Harmon, friendship tax. Rachel, you don't have to do that, babe. You work very hard, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Jilbo Baggins. I love you. I love that we got to talk last night. You know what was weird about that, Jilbo? I felt like I already knew, like I picked up with you like we've been talking for years because I know you so well. I know you from here, but I mean, it was amazing to actually talk to you. Um, creepy B5, love you. It's just our little fam here and we don't celebrate. Um, yeah, that's true. I did not get Huxley an Easter basket. You know, um, I was thinking about this. I was texting with Spanx today and I was telling him happy Easter. And he was like, what are you doing today? He said, did you paint some eggs? And I was like, do you know, I've never done that. I've also never carved a pumpkin. I've never done any of those weird little traditions that you people do. So he was like, you didn't? He said, you got to do that sometime. So uh, I didn't get Huxley a basket. I would have liked to have gotten a basket, honestly. I don't know how that works. Does the bunny just stop by and leave one? Am I supposed to go buy this? Um, do you have to wear special outfits in the sauna or swimsuits? What do people do? Sorry, weird question. Not a weird question. Actually, they're, um, when you buy a Purif, they give you, I think I might still have it unless I donated it. They give you a white shirt that's a sleeveless, um, like a muscle cut tee. And then they give you blue shorts that look like big basketball gym shorts. And they both say uh, the Purif on it. And uh, you have to wear that every day, which is awkward because you could be on your Purif every day for months, months. Yeah. How do you learn to be okay with saying no? That's a great question, Michelle. And I don't fully have the answer other than I'm learning. I'm learning very heavily to tell somebody when I have a boundary on something. I'm not great at it yet, but I am doing it. That's a good question. Easter is another Sunday around here. Spending all day, spend all day finishing painting my living room. Oh, nice. Well, that's a project. Blakey, happy Easter. I love you, Blake. I will, Blake. That's sweet. He was a vaping spy. Yeah, I uh, Jam Jam, that's really sweet. I had my next door neighbor, well, a couple neighbors down. I was out back this morning and I was almost in tears watching it. 
these sweet little kids, the dad was standing there videoing it and they were out there with baskets and they were running around back there, like grabbing eggs and putting them in their baskets. And I was like, should I, was I supposed to do that with Huxley? I, I've never done that. <laughs> no one ever did that for me. Uh, just like Christmas, this last Christmas, I had my first stocking ever. Abigail sent it to me. She sent me and Jeff and Huxley stockings. I had never had a stocking before till last Christmas. So guys, I really don't celebrate it. Uh, thank you, Dory. Like you guys do. Uh, that was brave, especially how long you stayed. Love you bunches. Friendship tax. Thank you, Robin Miners. I love you. I love deviled eggs too. I should make them more often. They're really good protein. Jilbo, me too. Teacher nurse, that's okay. I'm just glad you're here. Hey, yarn prepper, happy Easter. Cassie Mosier. I love Spanx, you guys. Ma Major Travis, I... Spanx has become a very close friend of mine. We actually talk quite a bit. And I, I just think he reminds me a lot of Huxley. He's so even keeled. He's super chill. Tommy said it, that he was freaking out. Tommy was having a meltdown yesterday before we went live because, I mean, he wasn't like freaking out like this, but he was just like, I hate this stuff. Like he doesn't like technology. Neither one of us get it. And he was, he's basically helpless. Like neither one of us knew how to fix it. And he said they had been working on it all day. And Spanx was so chill. Like Tommy's the one like kind of growling about it. And Spanx was like, okay. He was like, hold on. I'm going to try this other way. And Tommy was like, you know what? Let's just scrap it. We'll do it tomorrow. And Spanx was like, nope, I'm going to try this. I think I just figured it out. Like he's so cool and chill. And we got cut off before the live and I texted Tommy and he, I said, just be chill. I said, be cool. Spanx has this, like I can tell. He knows what he's doing. Give him time to fix it. And he did. It's Spanx is amazing. I love how he makes me feel calm because he's so calm. <laughs> Can you go to imagine going to a thrift store and seeing a Purif shirt? I'm sure it's happened. Angela Keese, welcome, babe. Jody T, I love you. Miss Sunrise Dawn, thank you for that. I know, Jill, though. It was amazing. Hey, Susan P. Susan Miller, happy Easter, babe. Miss Sunrise Dawn, I love you. I know it was cute, Aaron Cooper. It was really cute. That's what I'm learning, Tina. Tina Sarland, the word no is a complete sentence and needs no explanation. She is so right about that. See, I used to be able to say no, but I'd have to give a whole reasons as to why and like a story behind it. I don't do that anymore. And I have gone so boldly as to say to people, like, I don't need to give you an explanation. It's just a no. See, with being coming from Scientology, they would pressure you all the time around the clock. I am wearing a kimono, Sandra. It's a really, I love the sleeve. I just had to do that again. Um, around the clock. Um, yeah, Brittany, no is a full sentence. They would say, you got to come to this event. You got to start on this course. We need you in the org more. You need to be on uh, in session more. You need to be on course more. We need your time. We need your money. We need your efforts. And if I ever gave a reason as to no, and, and they would say, well, why not? Why can't you make it? How come you can't make it after that? Like they will pull that string. You cannot just say no. So I'm used to beating around the bush and be like, well, I can't. Well, I, okay, I'll do it. Because they're so, they just hammer you. And so I'm getting much better at it. Hi, Jeepsy Soul. Happy Easter. Sorry, guys. I think I got really behind, as I tend to do. Holy crap, Jamie Palmer. That sounds, Palmer, that sounds amazing. Peanut butter waffle cone ice cream. Yes, please. Yeah, Gretchen, no is a complete sentence. Verbal boss, I hope Easter morning was wonderful. A big fluffy marshmallow hug for Hawks. That's so sweet, Verba boss. Thank you. Kristen Melinda, I love you. You're so supportive, Kristen. Thank you for being here. Yeah, love Maddie. Exactly. There's a hair floating right by me. I don't want it to fall into my drink. Tony's Hooter, thank you. Thank you, Tammy. Happy spring, Reese. Thank you. Oh, 
You're in London, Martha Slemmer. You're so cool, Martha. That doesn't surprise me at all. Happy Easter to you, Martha. I hate high pressure people too. Tampa B, I love you. Oh, Marie, I get that. Kimonos are very pretty though. I just don't fully understand how to style them. Like, I know you can wear it as a duster, but to me, it looks like a robe. However, this one really doesn't because it is so sheer um, and it's quite lovely. Like you can tell it, it's, it's well-made. It's, I don't know. Does that make it more interesting? I just think I could get away with this. What do you put it over? A dress, like a solid print dress. Um, I think you could put it over, like I'm wearing a tank. You could put it over a tank, probably in a pair of, um, just a pair of jeans. I, I, I've seen women rock them and they look cool, but I always feel like I'm just wearing a robe outdoors. I don't know. I, I got to get used to it. I'm not sure. Totally, Jeanette. Moon glow. Happy Easter. Um, so I know Matrix. Guys, I know Tampa B. I haven't seen Brisby Tales for a minute either. Love you too, Asen. Real ones are heavier, Susan Miller. That's true. I would wear, Courtney says, I would wear jeans and a tank with it. Like you said, you can totally pull it off. I also think you make it look, guys, I'm a huge, huge, huge believer in this. Laura FM and I were talking about this. Notice I don't have any, I put on, um, I put on some coral blush to try to pull the coral color in the kimono. Um, and then I put on lipstick, but if you notice, I don't have any eye makeup on. Jody T, what am I wearing with it now? I have on a pair. I'm so hot. I have a pair of shorts on with my, these, I'm not like dressed to go out anywhere. I'm just really hot. Um, but I would wear jeans. I would wear jeans and a tank with it. Thank you, Kentucky Blue Girl, and happy Easter to you. That's cute, nearly, Marie. Wonder Woman, I haven't seen you for a minute. Thank you, babe. Happy Easter to you. I love you. So, guys, I'm a huge believer. Adidas, yes, I love these. Brittany, there you go. I'm a huge believer in taking a basic-ass outfit, like the one I'm wearing, and jazzing it up with, um, I did my turquoise here to pull the turquoise. I did the coral to pull in the coral and then layering some jewelry. I just think, um, I love sneakers, Matrix Rabbit. Well, thank you, Tracy Range. Um, and then throw on a lip and you're pretty put together. Like you could go out like that. A seventies vibe, creepy. Yeah. I just kind of, uh, well, Tina, you don't have to do red. I'm just saying, guys, I, I'm it's it's a thing for me. I've always, always felt, and you guys know I love styling things. I love, love, love styling people, myself, clothing in general. But I always take an outfit and I'll put it on and go, oh, I don't like this. It's boring. It, you know, I it's it washes me out or whatever. What was my hair routine today? Funny you should ask, nearly Marie. I got out of the shower, I washed it, and my mom called. And she wouldn't stop talking to me like mothers do. And it air dried. You seem to like it like this, guys. I'm going to do this again. I never do it. I can't tell you years, decades, the last time my hair air dried. I don't air dry my hair, but we like it like this. Does this mean this is my natural? Like, is it not as straight as I thought it was? Does my hair have a wave? Because every time I blow dry my hair, it is straight. People ask me if I flat ironed it. I'm like, no, it's just really straight. Is this real? Of course it's real, but is this how it's, is this? Okay, fine. We're going to do it again. Kelly festival hair. See one time I did this with a driver's license. Actually, I came back. How do you manage to layer necklaces? Uh, do different consistencies. So a thick, a different kind of chain, do not do the same chains or they will tangle. They don't tangle. If you do different chains, Patty. Wow. Thank you, Brisby. What was I just saying? Oh, Oh, guys, I came back from a beach vacation with my family like 15 years ago. Huxley wasn't alive yet. And it was around my birthday and I had it. I thought it looked like this. I thought it looked cool. It was beachy. I was like, oh, I look beachy. It's sexy. I had to go get my driver's license the next day. And I thought, cool, I'm going to just go with this. I had to go eight years with that driver's license. Every time people looked at it, I was like, I had just gotten out of prison. I told everybody that. I was like, that was my first day of parole. 
Sorry. It was so bad. I thought it looked cool. And looking at that thing, when I got it in the mail, I was like, I, I look like I just came out of orange is the new black, not in a good way. It was bad. It was bad. So I don't know if this is that I'm like, Ooh, is this beachy? Is it cool? Or does it look like I just, uh, just got just first day on parole? I don't know. We should ask Tommy. Um, do you play chess or Scrabble? No, I'm not bright enough for that, but thank you for asking. Uh, Cinderella's glass slipper. Welcome babe. And happy Easter. Yeah, I think blow drying is not good, but I do use a heat protectant, Jam Jam. Regina Smith, happy Easter. Mary Jones, enjoy that girl. Love you, Mary Jones. Glad we got to talk. Zelda, so this is my natural hair. Is that how you find out what your natural hair is? You just don't do anything to it? You just wash it and don't comb it, don't do anything? Because if I had even brushed it, if I got, a, I put product in. Oh yeah, I put product in, Lori. Um, I put in, of course, um, I put in a root booster. I put in a um, some weird purple stuff that um, is supposed to be like a volumizer. I put it up on the roots. And then I did my root boosting Mor Moroccan oil spray. I just kind of put that in. And then I did my heat protectant. And then I do Moroccan oil on the ends. Okay, that's all I did. So is this... Is this what it looks like? Is this natural? Is that what it's, if you want to know what your natural hair does, you just do that. Oh, so if I had brushed it, like I normally brush it, it sticks straight, but I didn't brush it. I didn't do anything. Is that what we're trying to explain to me? Should I do this more? Or do I look like I just got out of prison? Be honest with me, you guys. I, I can handle it. I, I was a Scientologist. Don't forget. The hair matches the outfit vibe. I think that's true. I think that's true. What? That's crazy. I can't tell, begin to tell you the thousands of dollars I've spent on, pro although it's not crazy, I believe it 100%. Hair products are such a sham. You could talk me into any hair product. It makes me crazy. I buy stuff from my stylist every time I go and she's like, yeah, just put it in. Your hair will look like this. I'm like, Kelly, come on. And I believe her every time. Bless her sweet Easter heart. But it never looks like that. And then she's so nice because whenever I come back, yeah, don't... Well, Tampa B is my hairdresser friend. And then I come back and I go, you know, that crap you sold me, I never use it. It's awful. And she'll be like, bring it back, bring it back. She's cool, but I don't bring it back. I don't return. That's weird. I don't want to be like, this didn't work. I want my money back. No, I don't do that. Too much pride or something. I don't know. Shauna B, I love necklaces and how many, but my hair always gets tangled in the chain at the name. Oh, really? Hmm. I don't have that problem. Why don't I have that problem? You know, actually I do have that problem, Shauna, if the chain is weird. I have some chains that are snaggy. I do. And my hair will snag on the, the roughness of the chain, but no, like these are very smooth. So I don't have that problem, Shauna. I think we need to change up the chain. I have the Dyson curler thing nearly, Marie. I have never once used it. I don't know how. I don't know how to use hair products. Yeah, hair tools. I've never learned. Remember when I tried to use that thing that Tampa B gave me and it works good, but I burned off my forehead and then I had to go get my passport photo taken and I have this like giant burn on my forehead. Remember that? Thank you. Can't think of a better name. Really, Abigail. Okay. Well, we're going to go with this. We're going to go with this. Zelda, that is so kind. You guys, here's the thing. Oh, Stevie Nicks vibe. Okay. Elena, I will take that a hundred percent. Thank you guys. Um, I was going to do the, 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 you know what I do that one thing, what's it called a beach waver. You know how I do that to my hair. Here's the deal. It's supposed to rain the next three days. Whenever I use that beach waver, I check the weather because I have found if I do that and it rains, the curls fall out. I can't get it to stay. I don't care how much product I put in it, how much hair stuff it falls out. It's the weirdest thing. So I was like, I'm not going to, cause it takes like an hour for me to do that to my hair. Once I section it all off and do it and I'm not wasting an hour for that to fall out tomorrow morning. Hi, Lisa Vining. All right. I'll do this again for you guys. Thank you for saying so. Hi, Debbie P. Courtney G. What? 
if I had the air app, I'd use it every day. It looks super cool. Okay. So here's the thing. I use the, the dryer every day, Courtney, but all the attachments that come with it, I've never used that air wrap thing. That's what it does. It's supposed to like grab your hair and do that. I have never once used it. Sorry. I don't know how. And I get frustrated. I also bought a time iron. Remember those things? I also bought a volume thing. Remember those? Do you guys see those in your Facebook ads? Oh, I'm a sucker. I buy that stuff every time. And then it goes under the sink for decades. I don't know how to use it. I try. I watch about seven YouTube videos and I keep watching and then I get really pissed and I'm like, forget it. I don't want to do this. Under the sink it goes. Here's the deal. Tommy Scoville, does he say that a lot? Oh, could also look like you had some extracurriculars, messy bed look in a good way. Well, it didn't, but I appreciate you saying that. I wish I had. I really wish I had. Yeah, try this in the rainy air and see what happens. That's what I was thinking, Cassie. Let's reevaluate tomorrow when we get back on, Cassie. Cassie, meet us here tomorrow so you can explain what you think. Very boho chic. Thank you, Lisa. Jill Bo, I just love you, girl. Your neck might be too chubby. Well, I have a chubby neck, Shauna. Oh my God. Speaking of, I'm mad at every single one of you that watched that live yesterday. I went back to watch some of it because I had to edit that last part out. Could somebody next time please tell me? I'm a little mad. I'm a little hurt with all of you that were there. Here's my phone. Next time someone say, Reese, don't hold your phone like this. Hello. This was like awful. It was so bad. All of this. I was like, so you guys, it was so bad. Somebody next time when I'm live on my damn phone, I was literally like this, like talking. And I was like talking to vape guy. And I was like, oh, uh, uh, uh. you can see like all my fat and my beard. I'm super self-conscious about this. This is why I don't like taking pictures because when I take pictures, I'm always like, <laughs> like I'm trying to like not, okay? Next time I swear to God, I'm gonna try to remember. But if I'm talking like this, one of you needs to go, Reese, Reese, put your head up, put the phone up. You need to do it like this. I need to do it like this. Seriously. Your neck might be too chubby. So Shauna, just get a longer necklace. I have to do about a 17 inch is the, the least amount I can do. Uh, some necklaces are 16 inch standard. I don't like 16. I can do 16 inches. I can wear it, but I don't like it. So you can get an extender or just make sure you do anything 17 and over or whatever you think. Yeah, Zelda, I don't know how to use it. Oh, the beach waver? No. If I can do that, Zelda, you certainly can. Cassie Mosher, I've, thought, I've heard about that. Shelly, I love you, girl. Brian, uh, hearing about this stuff makes me thank goodness I'm a low maintenance dude. You're very low maintenance. I just love Brian Lucas. Here's the deal though, Brian, you might get a high maintenance girlfriend one of these days. I know your last girlfriend was awful, but, uh, Brian, think about it. We are sometimes high maintenance. Wandering Wombat, happy Easter. I think I'm behind. You watched and saw no beard or chub. Regina, you're just trying to scoot out of it. Regina, you saw it. Everybody saw it. Brisby Tales, you didn't notice? Come on. What if no one noticed? Then you guys need to go... Make sure your eyes aren't dilated. I have a gimbal. I have a gimbal. Um, I think Tennessee Treasure Finder sent it to me. I have to figure out how to use it. It's very high tech. I don't fully know how to use the damn thing. You got to download an app. Like, I don't know how to do all that. Um, you know, we don't notice those things. Mary, you have to. How could you not notice? When you blow dry your hair, your looks thin. My what? My hair looks thin? What do you mean? Dory, you crack me up. I have to be honest. I was so hoping you were going to go in. I know. I got too scared. King's Kid, you didn't notice. Shannon, you didn't notice. Skyrider, really, Jenny? I was watching how your face reacted to vaping, dude. Oh, my God. That guy vapes too much. I'm concerned. I think he needs to get that checked. Sharon T, I like that tradition. Lisa, how can I be mad at you after that? We see you with unconditional love. We only see the beautiful Reese. Oh my God. Okay, maybe I need to catch up and try to see myself that way. That makes me kind of sad. 
Kestrel, you didn't notice. Rhonda Frank. I love you, Rhonda Frank. I love you, Fancy Nancy. Deeming, why don't we make the chin thing a thing? Happy Easter. What does that mean? Live for now, you didn't notice. Chin up next time. Elena, I expect you to tell me, Elena. I We're close. There was no beard or chub. Guys, I saw it. Sylvia, she's over here. Yeah, vape dude vapes too much. Thank you, Asen. You're probably right. You're right, SPTV Tattoo Warrior. Oh, rain virus. You were cleaning. I did a lot of cleaning today too, babe. I just showered like an hour and a half ago. I've been cooking all day too. Helen Davis, I know. Patricia, now you're just making me feel bad. Regina, but Reese, do you love me? You know I do, Regina Smith. Yes, I do. Hi, Sharon Spaghetti. Uh, Reese, when you are talking, it's likely people are looking at your eyes. Oh, well, I wasn't looking at my eyes. I was looking at my chin. Moon shadow. See, you get it. That's true, Deeming. You make a good point. Force of delightful nature. Thank you for saying that. Oh, guys, speaking of. <laughs> Shelly. Speaking of, I want to tell you something. I, um, one day this week. Oh, Erica, I love you, girl. Happy Easter. And then I'm going to go back to yesterday's video because I still want to talk about that. It was just so funny. Um, you hope Athena does get in trouble so she and her husband realize what you're telling them is true. Thank you, Matrix Rabbit. Um, I don't know that I want her to get in trouble, but she will. doesn't matter. She's going to. Rain virus. So this is one of the kimonos from Jennifer Grace. It's super long. And look at rain virus. Look at the sleeve. Oh my God. It's so pretty. Isn't that cool? I had to get one. Katie Fulton has like five of them. Talked me into it. Hamina, happy Easter, babe. Hamina, don't be sad about yesterday. We are going to talk. You are going to call in. I love you. I don't want you to feel sad or left out. Um, Tampa B, don't be silly. Yes, Sharon, I agree. Jilbo, thank you. What was I saying? And then I said I was going to come back to it. Somebody help me. I forgot. Courtney G, Athena, and her husband. Um, Al Ryan, um, I got the idea yesterday. You, you really miss your fellow Scientologists. Can't you just call them? Who would know? Uh, you can't. It doesn't work like that. Um, they... Shelly, you're going to call in too. They um, blocked me. They blocked my phone number, everything. I know yesterday I was going to talk about yesterday, but wasn't there something I was going to talk about outside of the yesterday's life? I don't remember. Okay. We'll just talk about yesterday's life because it was hilarious. You know, Gretchen, that's a good question. How do the Scientology orgs let them know about an SP? Is there some kind of announcement or a list somewhere? Yes. Aaron said now they have a list. Now, do they have pictures with that list? Because I could easily, I, I did this as a Scientologist. I would go into other orgs in cities I would visit. Maybe I'd never been there before. And I would go in and say, hey, like I'm a Scientologist from Kansas City. Um, and I'd give them my name. And uh, there's no secret handshake, but they would believe me because once you start rattling off, you switch languages. So I would switch languages and, you know, they trust me, they believe me. And we would just start rolling and chatting about, you know, my upbringing and what I've done on the bridge and who I'm related to. It's all a status thing. So I don't know. I don't know. Like, could I still get away with that? Especially if I gave my real name. That's a great question. I really would like to test that theory. I would like to go to an org somewhere. Ooh, I'd be scared. That's what I wanted to talk about. I was scared. It's I'm mad at Jennifer Grace. They gave me a credit, but never works. And I have contacted them since. 
thrice and it's radio sounds. Yeah. I don't like them either anymore. Rain. I'm not happy with them either. Trust me. I've had some issues as well and I don't love that, but I love her stuff so much. I have this problem with someone in town that sells jewelry locally that I love. I can't stand her though. And I don't like her policies. So I'm like, Oh, quit supporting her. Oh, tell them you're Brenda. That's not a bad idea. That's what I was going to talk about guys. I got too scared to go in. Um, Ace and it was impressive to see the difference between the first time and this time you were at the building. Remember you were shaking the first time I do Ace and I was shaking yesterday. I just don't think you could see it as well. Yes, Michelle. I remember that scene in the golden girls. Thank you, Jeannie F. I was very scared. I was actually, um, Oh, well then rain don't ever buy from her. If you can make your own, I don't know how to do anything. Thank you, Asen. So that was the thing, guys. I really wanted to try going in. I thought about going in until Athena came out and I spoke with her. There was no going in after that. There's no way I could have. She immediately, um, she immediately went in and reported that I was there. And to be honest, they probably knew I was there. I, they've got cameras. Um, they, um, uh, yes, Sarah, this is from Sephora. I think it's number 55. It's called like French red or something. Um, I haven't seen that video yet. Lisa Kelson. Oh, Erica, that is terrible. I don't think I'm going to support her anymore. I just hate it. I love her. I love her stuff, but they do have trouble with getting back to you. And I don't love that now. You guys, if you, let me, let me look up their email real quick because they do respond to my, I've never had them not respond to emails. Let me look at something real quick. Let me see something. This email, if you don't have this email, how do I find it? Come on. How do I figure this out? Somebody help me. Oh, okay. Listen, for whoever needs this email, they will respond to you from this one. Okay. The reason I know this is because I sent an email before and they didn't reach back out. And I got an email. Don't look down, Jildo. I got an email from, uh, it's okay if you're up here. And I look down. If you're down here, that's not good. I got an email from Ian back. And he said, don't ever send an email to that. Send it to this one and you'll always get an answer. So if you really need it, it's shipping at jennifergracecollection.com. Now remember, it's Jen Uffer, J-E-N-N-A-F-E-R, not the regular I-F-E-R spelling. So shipping at jennifergracecollection.com and he will answer that. So Rain, Erica, if you guys are having trouble, um, Asen, thank you. If you guys are having trouble, try that. That's true, Force of Delightful Nature. So I am Katie Fulton. Katie has this kimono too. Katie, we were all just complaining about Jennifer Grace and how uh, Erica bought a uh, caftan that isn't sewn properly. Rain bought something and can't get him to answer. I don't love that, Katie. I don't love that, but I was trying to say how much I love her stuff anyway, and I keep buying. Katie is the one who has like 15 kimonos and talked me into getting one. Yeah, Erica, try that. Oh, you have that email and he stopped responding? I don't like that. I really don't like that. So... Back to yesterday though, I what do you guys think of that? I, I would probably have the guts. Oh yeah, Lady Co customer service is great, Gretchen. I would have the guts to go into an org where they don't know me. I wouldn't have really much of an issue with that at all. Of course, it's going to be weird going into an org where everybody knows me. And I don't know that I, I mean, I don't love rejection, so it makes me very nervous to think with, you know, what would they do? Um, thank you, Sarah. What would they do? I just don't know. It makes me too nervous. It makes me pretty nervous, but 
I think the best thing to do, and I'm so bummed, yesterday they had a huge event. And apparently that event started at like 3.30 in the afternoon, which is insane. But um, thank you, Carol Barnhart. I wish I had known that because it would have been amazing to stand outside and greet all the people I know that are going into the event. Um, yeah, they can ask me to leave. It wouldn't be trespassing, Mary, unless I refuse to leave. They can't do anything. Um, will they send your pick to all the orgs? Probably. Um, what's the Etsy shop where you get your candy necklace? I love this maker. I think she's in Philadelphia. Give me a sec, guys, because I'm not looking. Etsy changed up their app. Dang, I don't know how to use it. Okay, so there's two makers for the candy necklace. One of them is, she's taking a break, Petite Bijou Bohem. She did not make this necklace, but I buy a lot of hers. And then the other one, she's a little cheaper. Oh, this girl. This girl is not cheap, but God, she makes amazing necklaces. Yeah, she's in Pennsylvania. Her name is Evelyn Sydney Jewelry. Right there. She, guys, I love her stuff, but Lordy, her stuff is so expensive. Like, I'd love to have this guy here. Look at this guy. It's round. Look how cute that is. She, put, she strings it on silk. Anyway, I feel like I just lost a bunch of comments. I know, Shelly. I should have. Better together. I haven't seen you for a minute. I just got a, an offer to go to Casey for training. I can't wait to hit up that dress shop and Lady Co. when I do go. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. And I would love that. Um, Donna's dress shop is so good. Better together. You will love it. That is amazing. I know, Rain. She makes amazing stuff. Um, what do you guys think about that, by the way? I had a couple people tell me today, like, don't make a habit of going down there. I know, Katie. Um, to do the protesting thing. I'm not going to make a habit of it. It's not what my channel's about. It just isn't. But I really thought it was fun to go do that. Hey, peace lady. Happy Easter. I thought it was fun to go do that just randomly. And I think maybe once a month doing that randomly, not announcing when I'm going. I don't want to do that. I wish that I had gone when the people were coming in because how awkward. That would have been so awkward for the people having to pass me to get into the door. All of those people that blocked me, all of those people that know me, I recognized a lot of their cars in the parking lot. That would have been amazing. Yeah, I think it's powerful for you to go at random, Kestrel. Um, totally, totally. Chill, thank you. Wow. Yeah, I just, uh, I'm too afraid though to actually go in. Thank you, Lisa Kelson. Did you guys enjoy it? Like I started to really warm up and have fun. I started to kind of loosen up and make jokes and uh, it, it was fun. Um, at first I was really kind of uptight feeling and nervous and I was ready to sign off immediately. I didn't know what to do, but I, I think it got, I do best when I can chat with people, like I can talk with anybody. So I think it was more fun to actually start making conversation. Vape dude was weird. Vape dude was a total liar, by the way. That dude was a totally a liar. Remember in the beginning, he said, um, yeah, Brittany, I think so too. Uh, remember in the beginning when he was like, oh, I just have a friend that drags me to events sometimes. No, you're actually married to Athena and her parents are Robin and Cynthia Smith and they've been on staff. Robin's not on staff. But Cynthia has been on staff forever. She said, did you guys, I don't think you heard it, by the way. I asked about Cynthia. Cynthia is at the training program. She was there with Brenda. I think she's training probably to be the ED at this point. She's been there for over three years. And when I, I wish you could have seen her face. I looked at her and I said, yeah, she's been there like over three years. And she's like, yeah. 
And I said, how's your dad? And she was like, he misses my mom. He misses my mom. And I was like, yeah, I bet. They also have four other kids that are younger than Athena. They have boys. One of them's like 16. I mean, it's just so effed up to me that you would leave your kid like that. Thank you. Yeah, Vapor Dude was a total fraud. Uh, I thought about that too, Gretchen. Can the Casey Org disconnect from the mailman? Was he really uncensored about his feelings? Love that. Um, I don't think they can do anything about it, honestly, but I love that he spoke up. Did you guys love that part? Because I did. I really loved that part. Um, what did I cook today, Sylvia? I did not do the green bean casserole because Jeff left and went to his family's for, uh, I almost said Thanksgiving, Easter, and um, Huxley went with his dad today. So um, I cooked a roast that I started this morning, and I, after an hour of starting it, I realized I didn't plug in the crock pot. That was cool. Uh, so I made a roast with carrots, potatoes, onions, garlic, and peas. And then I made 24, two dozen deviled eggs. And they're all just sitting up there in the fridge. Um, better together, don't commit to anything. When you want to go outside of the org, go. When you don't, don't. You're free, stay free. The green outfit was everything for your Easter visit. Thank you, babe. Thank you, thank you. And I love your perspective on that. I agree. And thank you for your super chat. Um, I just think it's better to do it just randomly. I, I don't want to commit to anything like that. Because again, that's not what my channel is about. Now, do I support it? Yes. Do I support that other people are doing that? I think it's life-changing. I think it's going to be the thing that takes down Scientology. I'm just not a tough guy to go do that and fly from city to city doing that. Now, sometime I think I would for one time just to experience it. I think I would maybe like to go to LA and check it out, but um, it's also a little heavy for me. And I remember how I felt when I got to Clearwater, I was pretty freaked out, but I still think, I mean, I'm really glad I went and it changed a lot of things for me. So I don't know. Is it against Scientology law to deny being a Scientologist? I don't really know what that means. Are you talking about the mailman? Like he's not gonna get anything. Hi, Chavi and Smut. Ham, peas, chocolate cupcakes with ganache. Oh, dang, girl. That sounds amazing. Oh, Rain. Your mom passed this past summer and I got her rings. The most amazing rings. That's amazing. I bet you look at, look at your rings and think of her all the time, Rain. I'm sorry you lost your mother, but I'm glad you have that piece of her. That's amazing. Katie, I love you too, girl. Happy Easter. Yeah, Brian Lucas, deviled eggs are fun. They're just kind of a pain to make. I don't know. Once I get to going on it, I'm like, this takes a while. But I do make good deviled eggs. I really like them. I don't add anything weird to them. I know some people put like relish in them. That's gross to me. Now, I might put a little sriracha on the top because I like spice. Why do Scientologists smoke so much? It's a fact. A lot of them smoke um, probably to go out to kill time, to get outside, to take a break. You don't get to leave. So, you know, you barely get time to do anything. So honestly, it's probably a freedom thing. They're able to get out for a minute. Um, I would not take those to Lady Co. Abigail because my whole house will eat them. Jeff loves devil eggs. Shelly, thank you. Uh, you don't go with Jeff parents. I would, I used to go with Jeff. Um, to, this is the first time I didn't. If you remember that whole showdown with Jeff's um, family member, that sister Christian, remember her? Um, I got the announcement that if I go to Easter, some of those people won't show up. Um, so they wanted to know if I was coming because they weren't going to be there if I came. So of course, I'm not going to do that. I want them to enjoy their family. I don't want to mess up somebody's Easter because they don't like me. It's her family, not mine. Why would I do that? So uh, I stayed home because Easter means absolutely nothing to me. And I like being alone and I like cooking. When I had my own apartment, I used to cook on um, Thanksgiving for myself and smoke a pack of cigarettes and just make casseroles. So uh, I love cooking. So um, Jeff and Huxley will definitely eat them. Oh, I love that rain. Uh, my mom had your style too with the skirts and belts and jewelry. Oh, I love that rain. I'd love to see pictures of it. I bet she had some cool stuff. Thank you, Lori. Shannon C., happy Easter.
L. Ron Hubbard said smoking doesn't cause cancer because L. Ron Hubbard believed and Scientologists believe you have to be what's called PTS in order to get cancer. PTS is a potential trouble source. A potential trouble source is someone who's labeled that because they are connected to a suppressive person. When you're connected to a suppressive person, a suppressive person is the thing that causes you to get cancer. So you could drink gasoline and if you're not PTS, you won't get sick. That's what they believe. So um, smoking does not cause cancer. According to Scientologists, you have to be connected to someone who's evil, like yours truly here. And, uh, I give you the cancer and I can take it away. That's what they believe. Um, really Brian Lucas. I'm sorry. I love Sriracha and your little boyfriend too. Yep. Yep. So I was not welcome at Easter. I am wearing the tennis necklace from Lady Co. Erica, and I have to say I love it. I layer it with everything. Joyce, you didn't want me to go into the org? I was too scared. Probably so better together. Uh, Robbie Starks, thank you for becoming a member. Hamina, I'm so proud of you. Your life was great. Thank you, Hamina. Robbie Starks, happy Easter, my friend. God, Brittany, I'm sorry to hear that. I love asparagus. Yeah, it's a lot of stupidity. And again, I'm just not going to get involved in all that drama. I was afraid they would keep you and not let you out. And you'd have to start all the lessons again. Jeff would be banging on the door. No, they, they wouldn't keep me. Better together. I made egg rolls for Easter, party of one and dog. I love that, girl. I... I have to say, I remember being single and I had so much fun. Now, I like being in a relationship. Companionship, I really like. I, I get so much out of it. But I was single for years when I had my own apartment and then I bought my house. And uh, I mean, it's fun. It has a time and a place, but that time and place expires pretty quick, quickly for me. Um, if you Did you quit smoking? If so, if so, how? I can't manage to stop. Um, well, I did. I smoked for about eight, eight to 10 years. And I quit when I got pregnant. Otherwise, I don't know that I wouldn't have been able to. Oh, good, Erica, you got it. It's really cute. You like Bo's attitude about things, Brian? So do I. Good night, Dory. Shannon, see, uh, Huxley was with his dad today. SMSP, it... Makes me mad that people don't take the time to understand you and treat you like crap. It makes me feel a little sad too sometimes, but thank God I don't have any feelings. Uh, Nick Knack, no Knack, thank you for being a member, my friend. Just curious, did Huxley ever question why you didn't do the holiday traditions? Uh, pumpkin carving, Easter egg hunts? No, because it's all he knew too. I mean, now I do remember Huxley having a Valentine's Day party once at school and I came to it. But I've never celebrated stuff at home. Like I said, we've never had stockings before till last Christmas. Um, I would like to start a tradition. I'd like to carve a pumpkin. I don't really want to be the one to do it, but um, I'd like to sit there at a table and watch someone else do it. Sarah, what are your thoughts on Zodiac signs? I'm kind of a believer in them. I'm a cancer sign and I pretty much fit the mold to a true cancer girl. Very much, very much. Debbie P, thank you. I did. I mean, it's been a fine Easter, guys. I've spent, I've spent the day by myself. Try a sprinkle of paprika on your deviled eggs, Patty. Pfft, done, girl. And I don't really do a sprinkle. I kind of do it heavy. Chow Yun Spot, I, Spot, I didn't get him an Easter basket, and I feel a little bad about it. Uh, Sarah, yeah, I'm a homebody, 100% being a cancer sign. Was Huxley's dad late for the pickup? He wasn't. No, no. Helen Davis, you're a cancer. Yeah, cancers are a specific breed. Tommy and his brother are cancers. Tommy is a true cancer too, totally. Hey, Cosmic Christy, welcome girl. Smoked paprika, yeah, that's good too. I just, uh, guys, I don't have the, um, the feeling of celebrating holidays because we didn't celebrate holidays. I have no traditions. And I want to, I want to have new traditions. I want to start that part of my life with new traditions. And I have time. We have time. Um, but I'm really happy, uh, thankfully, that I don't have, um, 
I have to say, I have to say something and then I'm probably not gonna stay on too much longer. I always say that. I have to say something now. I sometimes find myself at this point in my life when I have to deal with heavy stuff, fighting, insults, dealing and putting up with things that people shouldn't say or hurtful things. Um, that's a good, good point, SM. Um, thank you, Rachel, for keeping track. Huxley did not do traditions with his dad. His dad was born and raised in Scientology too. I have to say that I am thankful sometimes for my Scientology background. I kind of hope that someday I don't feel the way I just, what I just said. I hope that there's nothing in this world that I could be thankful for coming out of Scientology because there really shouldn't be anything. There's not, no good, no good. Not single girl. We live in our own houses. Oh, I love that. I just didn't want to be away from my dog. Dog people were like, I like that better together. I like the idea of that. Like not being single, but not living together and just having your own space and place and you can go visit each other when you want to. Perfection. Asen says, Reese, I grew up in a Christian environment with Muslim parents and I am an atheist. And I simply use holidays as an opportunity to spend a lovely time with my kids and play. I love that, Asen. I love that. Um... But I have to say, I don't know if I fully communicated what I meant there. And I really want you guys to understand what I meant. That's true, Shelly. I, I, it's not a positive thing, though. It's not a positive thing. What I'm saying is I'm thankful for my ability. Is Huxley's dad still a Scientologist? No. I'm thankful for my ability to totally detach and be able to disconnect from people, things. Hey, Koala Crafts. Um, and have no feeling for things because all of my training in Scientology, hey, Jehovah's Witness apostate, all of my training in Scientology makes you be able to not feel. You can detach. Um, are you concerned about being fair game? I would be a bit nervous about that. Like Leah Remini, Al Ryan, not really. Um, they haven't really done anything to fair game me. Not a lot. I had some private investigators outside of my house for a while, um, but they have not, no. Cody, I know I was thinking that too. So I kind of feel like one day I don't want to feel that way. One day I don't want to have to not feel. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? It's a defense mechanism. It's a coping mechanism. Um, I'm in a situation where things aren't always, yeah, yeah, Skywriter. And I hope one day that I'm not in a situation where like, I hope I'm in a situation one day where like, I don't have to kick in, kick in my TRs or my training or my Scientology. Now, I don't know if I'm doing it, but I'm told often that I do it. And um, that's cute. Lil Bo Beats, Heat and Sheep Feet. Hi. Yes, totally. Yeah, Sharon. Yeah, baby steps, totally. A coping mechanism for unhealthy situations. Um, that's it. Never had that family connection. You can and are doing this with Huxley. You will in time. Yes. It can be helpful sometimes to be able to detach just depending on the situation. There are plenty of times when I wish I'd been able to control my emotional reactions. Yes, Brian, totally. Asen, I see what you're saying. Yes, Shelly, I do. And a hundred percent, I vibe with what you just said. I love that, Zelda. I don't want to have to use that coping mechanism. I don't want to have to feel that way because it's a terrible feeling. <clears throat> it's a terrible. What do PIs tell the police if I catch basically spying on former member? Nothing. They're within their legal rights to do that. Peace lady. Yeah, I see what you're saying. A lot of people have non-reactions when being yelled at. That's not what I mean. It's more than not reacting, peace lady. It's like a total deep unhappiness in my soul is what I'm saying. Like, 
I hate that it has to kick in. I, at some point, I don't want to feel that way. I don't want to even be near a situation like that is what I'm saying. I don't want to be thankful. Like, thank God I have that Scientology training so I don't have to feel anything and I can just wall myself off. I don't want to feel that way anymore. I don't want to have that situation. Hey, Meredith Lynn. Yes, Brian, I have therapy tomorrow. Yes, Mac, I do know what you mean. Happy Easter, who, what, where now? Yeah, Shelly, one day you won't have to feel this way. Yes, I know, Shelly, and I know you know. Thank you, Patricia M. All right, is being a suppressive person the same as N theta? No. Um, uh, Jehovah's Witness apostate, I was not on staff in that building. It was a different building um, when I was on staff. Uh, Al Ryan, so N theta is just bad news. You're being, um, like if you're spreading N theta, that's how you would say it. Like you're being N theta, you're spreading N theta. You're just being lower on the tone scale. You're full of bad news. You're nattering, which is talking badly about other people. Um, being a suppressive person is pure evil. Like you want nothing but destruction. I thought maybe that was you. Did you just change your name? It's funny, but did you happen to watch Surge and Aaron? It makes more sense about Aaron's aversion to dirty words. It was heartbreaking to watch. No, I did not watch it. Thank you, peace lady. Yeah, thank you, Brian. I agree totally, Brian. Shelly, I love you. You are the bravest person I know, truly one thing at a time. Thank you, Shelly. Is talking about charts and theta, Lori? No, it's not. And theta, and I know you're being silly probably. Uh, and theta would be like saying, did you hear about that bridge that collapsed? They would immediately say, that's really in theta. You're spreading a lot of in theta. Please don't do that. A seasoned Scientologist wouldn't even talk about that because they know better. You just want to be able to be a human. Kristen Melinda nailed it. Yes. Yes. That resonates with me so much. That's what I want. I don't want to I even have to think about it anymore. I don't want it to kick in for me. I can sometimes tell when it's kicking in. Yeah. Thank you. I feel you made tremendous progress. We will be here cheering you on. Your desire to change is half the battle. Totally, totally fancy, Nancy. Uh, when Dan O'Connor threw the fax machine on you, didn't you want to get even with him? No. I'm not, uh, I don't think like that. No. I, I'm not a person who, you might think this, but um, I actually am not a person who like wishes ill will on people. I don't wish revenge. I just think like karma, hopefully, you know, at some point in this, on this side or the other, but people know what they did. Dan knows what he did. And that's enough for me. I don't, you know, he's a father of three girls. I don't wish harm on Dan O'Connor. I do wish that he um, would have been prosecuted by the laws of the land for what he did. You know, he broke the law in a pretty harsh manner. I went to a hospital because of him. I wish if we could go back in time, that would have been the case. But like currently right now, no, I don't, I don't hope bad things on people and I don't want to get even with Dan. No, Dan is a bad person. And um, I think he probably maybe knows that. I don't know if bad people know they're bad, but he knows what he did. That's enough for me. Can you be a Catholic Scientologist? They label themselves that. Some people say that, but no, it's just for PR reasons. Aaron. Hey everyone, peace and love to you all. Reese, I'm a gentleman of the highest caliber, but I must respectfully say you are a very attractive woman with a huge open heart. Stay yourself. Aaron, that is very kind. I appreciate that. I love that. That's a classy comment, my friend. Thank you. The good thing about you, Miss Reese, is that you know your heart. You know what you want and you totally deserve a good life, darling. Shelly, I love you. That is so kind. Thank you for saying that. Do you think Dan, o wait, do you think someone should confront Dan O'Connor with what he did? I don't know. Again, he knows what he did. Confront him how? Point out that he did that? He knows. Yeah, Scientology knows what they're doing to people. Totally. 
That's a good question. I wonder what Dan would think if someone did that to one of his daughters. You know, there's a good point there. He may not be upset. If someone did that to one of his daughters and said, I was just applying policy, he might go along with that. When we shut off our emotions, it manifests in other ways. It drains the soul, makes us sick and prevents our true self from shining through. You've come so far in a year. You look the same, but different. Brittany, thank you. And you're so right about that. Stress really does. Yeah. I mean, right now from where I looked like with my first interview with Aaron, I don't look the same. I look the same. Physically, I look the same, but I, you could tell I was very unhappy. Was I able to find out if that was Gavin Potter? I was not able to find that out. Sure looked like Gavin Potter to me, and I've met him a few times. Carol, I know you would have, girl. That's such a nice thing to say. I would love you and all second gens to feel safe to be your authentic selves. I think we're getting there. I loved the live I did with Lara FM the other day. She inspired me. She's the reason I went to the org yesterday. I was like, I'm feeling lifted up by her. She really inspired me. Dan has karma coming for him. Trust me on that. Shelly, I think so too. I just don't, um, look what stress did to Brenda rain virus. That's a great point. Aaron Brunette, happy Easter to you. Thank you, Helen Davis. Asen, now uh, you look totally different, Reese. You looked unhappy. Yeah, I, I would agree. Um, yeah, Laura FM is such an inspiration. She was so inspiring to me. But guys, I don't, I don't feel hate toward any of those. I, I just don't. I mean, I guess I could say I really strongly, if I feel hatred, it's for my father. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't sit around thinking about it. Like, I'm not like, God, I hope he's dead. Like, I don't think like that. I just think you had no business having children. You hated your children. And you're not even really human to me. You're something else. Like, I don't, I, I realized this when I was on a live with Tommy and it really made me feel free from him. This made me feel free from a lot of people who have kind of kept me in chains. Like people who have wronged me. I don't value them anyway. I don't value anything they have to say. I don't have to, like, I used to always feel like I had to value because it's my father or because it's a bunch of people that the church I go to guys, we don't have to value anything. And I mean it like really using that word is, is how I mean it. I don't value anything about your life, anything about any wisdom you may have or thoughts or anything, nothing. You have nothing to offer me. You bring nothing to the table for me. If you called me today, if Dan O'Connor showed up at my house, I would say I don't value anything about you, dude. Go away. You're doing, it's like Glenda, the good witch. You have no power here. Be gone. Like you don't have any power here. You got no power in my head anymore. It's just, I don't wish ill will. I don't hope the worst for you, but I hope karma kicks your ass with something. And maybe, maybe it won't be anything terrible other than you realizing on your deathbed, what a terrible person you were. That would be enough for me. That would be enough. You know, it would be enough for if my dad was on his deathbed and thought I was a terrible father. I really screwed that up. That would be enough closure for me. Your growth this past year is extraordinary. Rome wasn't built in a day. Neither will race or any of us will be better together. I love you. You're so full of light. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, Mac. True. Dan is already living his karma. He's stuck. That's the other thing is look at that. My dad and Dan, they're already miserable. They're miserable. Thank you. We feel hatred for your father too. Yeah. Abigail, he already knows. Bo Beats, you're hilarious. Am my golfing attire? Where were you born? I swear your twin lives around me. I thought you were her first time I ran across you. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska, but I've been in Kansas City most of my life. You know, I do have twin, a twin or twins. I have met so many people that are like, you look just like this person. It's weird. I think I just have a really bland face. I don't know. And I feel bad about that rain virus. I didn't want to pressure her. I just like the idea of having a crush.
Uh, Shannon C. Yeah, I think she probably got in trouble yesterday. Gina Marie, happy Easter, girl. Special place in hell for people like Jean Wally. Uh-huh. Yeah, Jeanette. Only opinion of you that matters is yours. Totally. Do you think things would be different if David Miscavige was not the religious technology center leader? Probably. I think Scientology would not be as terrible if David Miscavige weren't in charge. Kestrel, crappy thing is, Reese, you'll likely not get closure with your dad. Not because he's a Scientologist, because he's a narcissist. He will never admit he does. Oh, Kestrel, I know that. I'll never, it'll never happen. It'll never happen. He, he hates me beyond belief. If somebody called him and said, Reese died in a car crash and suffered for 12 hours straight, the man would probably be smiling ear to ear. Not only did he not want children, he got off on pain, on us being in pain. He got off on us being in fear. My father loved seeing me intimidated, frightened, scared of him. He loved it. He loved it. He was very mean for sport. Brittany, that is such a nice thing to say. I don't know if evil exists, but people who have treated you the way your father and Dan did make me think it does. I think it does. You deserved and deserve love, acceptance, and a good life. You deserve Fred. Thank you, Brittany. I got Fred. I got everything I wanted. Let's put it that way. I got everything I wanted. I got Fred. They have nothing. I have something they will never have. And that's Fred, the best friend you could ever have. Tina, you're funny. Yeah, he said that Athena watched the Aftermath show. Ooh. Deanna Downey, thank you for saying that. Bo Beats, things are okay. Yeah, Gene Wally is definitely a sadist. Al Ryan, thank you for saying that. What makes evil people think they are so much better? I don't know. That's a good question because my father and Dan in particular are walking egos egomaniacs. They, um, my dad for sure is worse than Dan when it comes to that. He thinks he is the best. My dad thinks he is so much better than everybody. Um, he, he looks down on people. He makes fun of people. He's racist. He's an awful person. Um, so I don't know what causes that. And I don't know. Uh, yes, he kept me away from my mother. Um, I don't know, Patty. I don't know if she's just towing the line. That's true, Kestrel. Um, but it would be fascinating to be able to trace back. Why is my dad that way? It's not Scientology, guys. He was that way before Scientology, I guarantee you. Scientology just enabled it and probably channeled it and made it worse. But I guarantee you he was that way way before Scientology. He's a hateful man. He doesn't even like animals. That's a problem. That's a problem. Um, I love animals. And ever since I was little, he let me get animals. I had ferrets. I had boa constrictors. I had cats, dogs, guinea pigs, hamsters, um, everything, everything under the sun. I brought everything home. I wanted animals. He let me have them. But my dad, every time our dog would come near him, my ferret would climb up on him. He would pet it fine. Yeah. He didn't like shoo it away, but he would do this. He'd go, come here, dumb shit. Come here, dumb shit. Come here, you stupid little idiot. That's how my dad would address animals. And I hated it so much. You have no idea. Hi, Terry B. Tinker Mom. Happy Easter. Don Gloves, I love you. Happy Easter. Um, hey, true to it. He, you guys know, my connection with animals is very strong. If I could have any superpower, it would be to be able to speak with animals. I love animals so much. I would happily die because I was trying to get a hold of and like pet an animal. No problem. Like it's, trust me, if it happens, that's how I wanted to go. I love animals. But my dad would be like, come here, you stupid little dumb shit. Come here, dumb shit. And it was, oh, I hated it so much. I hated him so much for that.
Why? My dad hates Anna, also hates Anna. He also called them names like this. It killed me. He was also abandoned by his own dad and it effed him up badly. Wow. Yeah, if you don't love animals, there's something pretty wrong. Like there's just, it's one thing to go, I don't love animals. You know, I was attacked by something, um, you know, this or that. I can respect that. Like, you know, that's like someone saying like, I'm not being rude. I just don't touch people or shake hands or go out in public. Like, I don't know. If you just have a thing because you're just afraid, some people are afraid of animals. To me, that's different than people who hate animals. Like you've got something very wrong. Hi, Rona Cooley. Island Life, thank you for giving us a front row seat to your beautiful journey. You should be so proud of what you have already accomplished in such a short amount of time. Thank you. I, I love Island Life. Thank you for being so supportive. Serial killers have the same traits as your dad. Perhaps he had Scientology to keep him from that road, not trying to be mean. Oh, absolutely. I think that could absolutely, I think he's worse than a serial killer. I do. Some serial killers have families, guys. Like they have kids. Um, they treat the BTK killer, Wichita, Kansas, guys. He was a clergyman dude and uh, had daughters and a wife. And look, I'm not saying he treated everybody cool. I'm just saying like, I bet some serial killers were nicer than my dad. That's all I'm trying to say. Well, yeah, he hated children, obviously. But yeah, animals and children. Liv's mom, Carol, uh, to this day, Dan is probably still throwing mach throwing machines at girls and getting away with it. He could be. He might be doing that to his daughters for all I know. I don't know. Uh, Carrie B. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, Amazon packages. I got two Amazon packages in the last week, and neither one of them had a name. Um one of them was a bag of coffee and one of them was electrolytes and they just said, enjoy your gift. So if that was from you, I appreciate that so much, but nobody put a name with it. Uh, hi, Leaping Lena. Yeah, Tinker Mom, I do feel over him. I do feel over him. I never think about my dad. I know, Rain Virus, it's weird. Thank you, Baby Steps. Stacey Essen, thank you. I think there's a lot of, I think Scientology recruits a lot of people like my dad and Dan. I just think they do. Hamina, I would like to apologize for being a drama queen yesterday for me not being able to call in. I was just having, still am having the worst week and I was looking forward to, oh my God, two of my heroes. Hamina, I love you. You were not being a drama queen. I just felt sad that you couldn't get through and I'm sorry you're having a rough week, babe. That's terrible. Don't apologize. I wanted you to get through. So, oh, oh, forward the coffee here. That's funny. Um, thank you for your super chat, babe. But don't, please, don't, don't apologize. I mean, I love you. Tommy and I both really love you. We will get you through, I promise. Hold on, guys. Sorry. I know, Shelly. It's awful. Yeah, under, under honest review of Gene Wally as a parent. Honestly, I like making him famous by talking about him like this because I'm not sitting here saying like, F him and F his life and I hope he's dead. None of that. I'm just, I'm just talking about who he is as a person and I kind of enjoy doing that. So much so I'd like to start a company and call it Gene Wally Productions. I think that would be hilarious. Yeah, Hamina, we love you. Um, TKK. Yeah, when you have humidity like that, that's crazy. You're in Thailand. That's amazing. It's just, you can't do anything with it. Gene is trash and so is his opinion of anything. But sometimes it's therapeutic for me to sit here and talk about him. Original Anne, happy Easter to you. Oh, you just did a, uh, doing a little crimi yoga. I love crimi yoga.
I'm sorry, you guys. Hi, Noreen. Oh, Susan. Matthew said I get to make the best of his last days, showering him with love. Susan, that's amazing. At least you get that gift. That is a gift, girl. I'm sorry. I wish they lived as long as we did, but that is a gift. And I'm sorry that your dog is passing. I'm glad you get to be with him. Give him plenty of good treats. And I know you will. Yeah, I do think that he should get a pube or two in his coffee every single day of the world. That goes for Gene and for Dan. Absolutely, absolutely. Krim yoga with Detective so Scoville. <laughs> Tommy would love that, by the way. We should pass that on. I love it, Shelly. Krimmy yoga with Detective Tommy Scoville. He went from Krim to Detective, and we like it. I do. I'm feeling it. Um, Carrie B, it was a book. Okay. Please send me a PM if you don't mind. Thank you, Carrie B, by the way. I don't want you to feel like I'm not thankful. I'm not, I, that's why I had everybody, I had my mods stop posting my Amazon list and my, um, just my, my address in general, because I don't always get caught up on that. And I hate nothing more than receiving a gift and not saying thank you for it or acknowledging the person. And some of the gifts come without names. And that make, gives me anxiety because I'm like, I don't know who this came from and I need to say thank you. And I'm just weird about like traditions like that. And I don't want anyone to think that I'm a spoiled, rude person like that. I think it's terrible manners. And so it gives me too much anxiety. It gives me too much anxiety. Tinker mom, you're right. Investment tax for Gene Wally Productions. Let's do it and sell some makeup. Sent you business idea for that. Oh my God, better together. That's hilarious. Thank you for your super chat. Do you think that's a good idea? Ooh, put your hands on your head. Detective Scoville. Um, Southwest Gen X, love your live videos. It's like talking to the girl at a house party who knows everyone walking in and says hi to them and gets back to the story she's telling me. Oh my God, that's a great example. That's awesome. I love that. Usually can only catch a replay. Well, welcome. I'm glad you made it to a live. And I love that. I love that description. Um, what do you guys think of that? Carrie B, yeah, just message me. Again, I apologize to you, Carrie. It's embarrassing. I hate it. Um, what do you guys think of that? <laughs> Gene Wally Productions. I don't even know if that would be a legal thing, but wouldn't that be hilarious? Jeepsy Soul. I love and respect you so much. I love watching you find out how wonderful you are. Jeepsy Soul makes me want to cry. Thank you for saying that. That is a really nice thing to say. Um, do you really want his name in your face all the time though, Reese? I, his name, again, I don't, SM, I don't value him at all. <laughs> I feel nothing. I almost feel, I almost flipped the other way about him. Like now when I think about his name or him, I almost smile because I think I won you lost. Like I won. I made it. I climbed the mountain. You didn't think I would. Like you didn't think I was going to make it. Here I am. So it's almost like I think of it and it's almost like a win for me. It's almost a success when I think of his name. I'm like, despite everything and how mean he was to me, here I sit with you guys. And here I sit with, it's you guys, not me, that makes me feel so special. You think I've changed. You've changed me. I don't know how else to put that or explain it. But it's because I have friends. It's because I have all this support. And I, I have that and he never will. He'll never have what I have. All these gifts you'll never have. You will never be loved. So it's almost like a, it just makes me feel good. It just makes me feel good. Um, are Scientologists allowed to read books other than cult teachings? Not really. I mean, I don't want to say allowed. 
Um, it's just, no, it's not it, when, I mean, it's not like you could bring a book to the org and read something else. You are expected to read only L. Ron Hubbard in the teachings. Yeah, Shelly. Joy of Cats, I'm confused. Why would you give him the honor, respect, name, and successful? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I have an answer for you other than it just feels good to make him kind of famous there and have the story behind it. I just got home, baby angel. Happy Easter, babe. Yes, Bo Beats. I love that. The opposite of love is indifference. You used to get so mad and emotional when you spoke about your dad. Now you are indifferent to him. Bravo, girl. Thank you, Bo. Shelly, I love you. Thank you, baby steps. That's a good point. He will always be feared, but never loved. What a miserable life. That's what I mean. He's just miserable. He's a monster. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? You win, Reese. Yes, I won. I have my son who is the best person ever in my life, who has lifted me up, who's my rock. That's his grandchild that he'll never get to know. How special. I don't know, just feels good. Asen, thank you for saying that. I'm so happy and forever grateful to Aaron. Me too, for outing me. Sharon, thank you. What happens if they catch you sneaking a good book? You can't. You would get in trouble for that. Baby Angel, thank you. It's a kimono. And it's like a really fun, look at the sleeve. I've shown everyone like 50 times. Isn't it fun? It's so like kind of sultry. I kind of want to get down in it. You know what I mean? Bell Notes, happy Easter. Thank you. <laughs> Shelly. Thank you, Erica. I love you, girl. Tony Suter, because of you, we all dig deeper to be our true self. Love you. Oh, I love you, Tony Suter. That is such a nice thing to say. I love that. Thank you for your super chat, babe. Elena, that's a nice thing to say. Reese has a gift. It's very rare to see someone move so fast for the better. A wonderful son and a new family. Huxley and I are so much closer. Well, guys, I'm not starting a company anything. Uh, anyway, I don't have anything to say. I'm just thinking about how there are some people Tommy won't even say their name because it might give him more attention than he deserves. Oh, well, that's Tommy's. That's Tommy's prerogative. I like making him a little bit famous. I like people knowing who Gene Wally is and what a monster he is to human beings and animals and kids. Um, I don't mind sh shouting that from the rooftops. When you're surrounded by people who are willing to sit with you in the darkest moments, they help uh, get back up to start, see how wonderful they are. That is one of the greatest gifts. Brittany, I agree. It's so lovely. Yeah, that's good, Kristen with a C. Rain virus, that sounds amazing. It is Tony's Hooter. A hundred percent. We got confirmation, Rhoda. Thank you. People, places, and perspectives. Yep, you did win, Reese, and have always been better because you do feel love and your dad doesn't love. You're resilient. Thank you. Thank you, Jehovah's Witness Apostate. Baby Angel, I like a flower print and I also love stripes. Thank you, Gypsy Soul. Did you just say, don't have anything to say because we listen all the time? I don't know. Did I say that? Clearly that can't be true. Did that come out of my mouth? Guys, sometimes I just rattle things off and it's not here nor there. Gypsy soul. That's so kind. You guys are so nice. Thank you. Yeah. Saying his name is you taking your power back. I think that's true too, Brittany. I spent all these decades since he disconnected from me, not saying his name except in the church when I would complain in session and get in trouble. But um, it feels good to say it. it. feels good to say it and feel no attachment to it. No emotional sadness. It just feels good. I know, SM. 
Uh, Ev Barney, I am about to sign off, girl. I'm going to go upstairs and, oh, wow, it's late. Uh, feed the child, see if he already ate the roast I made. Uh, will I be on with Tommy? Not tonight. No, I. Uh, but I will be on this week with him for sure. We're doing stuff like two or three times a week. Was I Reese Wally? Yes. And you spell it right. W-A-L-L-E-Y is my maiden name, Wally. Awful name. Love you, Bo Beats. Yeah, Paula, it just feels good to do that. Now, I wouldn't sit here every live of every day and talk about my father, but when it comes up, it feels good to talk about it. Uh, as a Scientologist would put it, it removes the charge. <laughs> I'm blowing off charge. That's how they put it. You can say whatever you want. You're not in a cult anymore. Thank you. Bell notes. Ray, thank you, Rachel Harmon. Uh, from the beginning, you've had an open heart for change. That has spoken to me so much. Not always easy to be open. Thank you for being you, girl. That is so kind, Bell Notes. I love when you guys point things like that out, things that helped you, your perspective. Like, that's what I love most about this channel. I just love that we are truly a group. We are such a tight-knit community, and people have actually made friends in here. I know I have, and it's just really cool. I love it. Um, were you on with Sterling today? No, Sterling has been out of town and traveling, um, but he will let me know when he's back. Thank you, Patricia M. Mary, happy birthday again to you, babe. I hope it was a good day. I'm going to call him Gene Walleye from now on. Uh, you wouldn't believe how many people thought that's how you pronounced my last name, Walleye. Michelle, thank you for saying that. Good night, Paula Puffer. <laughs> Rachel, you're so funny. Oh, you're every opposite to what described him. And I love you almost isn't even enough. You've given me some self-worth and confidence back in who I am. I love you, Kathy Ann, and you know I do. That is such a nice thing to say, though. Thank you for saying it, babe. You are very close to me. I agree that saying his name is empowering. Talking about anything is good therapy. It's why I love you and your channel. You're not afraid to talk about anything. Baby Angel, thank you for pointing that out. Thank you. Um, guys, this week, um, I'm going to figure out, I don't know if I have to email you. We're going to do the Zoom call this week for the Fred and Gertie members. Um, I just want you all to know that. I didn't forget. If you uh, drop your membership because of that, I totally understand. Um, thank you for becoming a member when you did. But I apologize for being late. We will do it this week. I have to figure out how to do it and set it up. I know how to do Zoom and all that, but I don't know how to send you. I'm going to send you an invite. No, I have not studied the history of the world. History is not taught in Scientology and I know nothing. Um, well, you and Tommy call people again. They call us. But yeah, I love you and Tommy being so happy. Thank you so much. That is, we love it too. Tommy and I love doing that. We love doing shows together in general. But yes, that is a whole new show we're going to be doing and we will be doing it regularly. This is a safe space and I opened up about my trauma more here than to people I see in real life. I am grateful. That's amazing. I love that, Asen. That is huge. Thank you for trusting us. Sandy Wandy, I love how rapidly you have been able to overcome the difficulties you have faced. It is an inspiration. Thank you for saying that. Night Jam Jam, I love you. Thank you, Kathy Ann. Heather McLaughlin. I'm definitely gonna meet you in person. Force of delightful nature, your courage is infectious. Look at how, look how you are helping me step out of my shell. You are, and I love that about you. Thank you for that. Thank you, Zelda. Oh, you can do a member post for a specific level of member with Zoom ID and password. Kathy Ann, you can help me with that. That's amazing. Julia, thank you for telling me that. Me too, Rain Virus. I love it so much. I love it. Are the community posts meant, meant to be members only? No. No, toots, no. Um, Gretchen, thank you, Gretchen. That is so nice. Consider that your friend tax um, and you had a higher tax for the holiday. You're, you're good, girl. You're good. I love you, Sharon. And guys, happy Easter to all of you. I'm learning what Easter means to me. I know that it actually has a specific meaning, but because I didn't come from that part of the world uh, and wasn't taught to me, the meaning for me of Easter so far, I said this earlier, is gratitude. Pretty much everything is gratitude right now for me. I am so thankful for you guys. It means more than any amount of money. I wake up every day knowing I have a whole safety net, an army of friends that I can count on. 
And I've never felt those feelings before. I've never been able to say that before. That's what Easter means to me, that I have my friends and I'm thankful for you guys, every one of you. Better together. What I learned was re-trauma just as powerful as trauma. I hear your dad traumatized you and you got over it, but that those Scientology people called you and told you he was the best all the time, re-traumatized. Yes, you nailed that. Yes, that was like a bullet every time. Thank you for acknowledging that, for validating that for me, because that's so true. And we don't really talk about it. Thank you. I love you better together. And that's such a kind super chat. I mean it. Thank you. You and Tommy are so darn, are too darn cute. How lucky you are to have such a precious friendship. Ty's channel, I absolutely love that man. No question. V McWilliams, happy Easter. Yeah, info dump truck. Um, I really, really love Tommy. He has changed so much for me. Um, he is my, probably my closest friend and I know I can count on him. And I'm so glad that we took the time to understand each other because he's amazing. He's got the biggest heart I've ever known. Julia, that's a good point. Baby Angel, me too. It's very special. It's so special. Asen, between the current you and the one a year ago, you are, wait, year ago, you there are worlds. I am sure you will climb out of your cocoon more and more. It is heartwarming to watch. Asen, that is such a nice thing to point out. Thank you. Kristen, Thank you for going live as often as you do. This may sound odd, but I've never had many female friends. It's not odd at all because you are my friend. Uh, and I feel like your lives help me sort. I feel like I'm starting to learn how. I love that, Kristen, and I am your friend. This is not just a YouTube thing. I am your friend, and I appreciate you saying that, and I love that for you. I love it for all of us. Kelly Wallace, happy Easter. Okay. So I'm going to go up. Oh, Marilyn. I love you, Marilyn. Happy Easter, babe. I'm glad you popped in. I love Marilyn Honig. All right. I'm going to go upstairs and check on Hux. And I hope you all have a lovely or had a lovely Easter. And um, thank you for making it special for me. Thank you for making all of these new holidays and traditions special for me. Now, I hope to actually have an Easter tradition. I didn't really, uh, I know, Julia, my emojis are the best emojis out there. Um, thank you to Kathy Ann. Better together, I love you, big time. Um, I hope to, buy Info Dump Truck, I really hope to have Easter traditions going forward. Um, I don't yet, but I hope that Huxley and I make some because it's really special. Uh, hey, Rain, make sure you tell Joe Virus I said, hey, and happy Easter. Love you guys. All right, uh, Patty. Yes, guys, love you. Anna Banana, talk to you guys. I'll be on tomorrow. I have therapy tomorrow and I have to take Gertie to the vet to get her butt glands expressed. And she's not excited about that, but she's been dragging her butt around on the floor and having trouble pooping. And that means it's time. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to go to therapy. She'll go with me. And um, that's that. And then I'll be on tomorrow afternoon, as always. Um, Amy, totally. Thank you, Amy. I won't tell her. All right, guys, it's no big deal. She has to do it like every six weeks. It's in and out, literally, no pun intended, gross. All right, I love you all. Happy Easter. On that note, here comes Fred. Here comes our little sweet doll, Fred. Love you guys. Mm -hmm.